so it's been a long weekend with a lot of things happening concurrently uh, i hope when you see me not posting i hope you follow me on twitter uh, at fgaido237 you follow me there i hope you're also subscribing to my youtube channel where i'm going to start on boarding long content so at youtube is at francis gaido you know i always wonder why and somebody posts and asks which is what is your youtube channel like you can't go and search my name on youtube and find it so anyway if you saw i did a tweet about an accident uh, which claimed the life of somebody called Maso Mwanzia. He was the advisor to former uh, Makueni governor, Kivuda Kibwana. Uh, it was a gri grisly road accident. I'm, I'm sure there are very many road accidents which happened, but this one I want to focus on it because then I learned that on the, that Machakos Water Road, there is still a roadblock which has been you know, imposed by the Kenya police, yet it's a black spot. Mm -hmm. It's a black spot. And don't forget that our engineers are corrupt, so they cut corners. They don't do projects as they are stipulated in the tender documents, the bid, uh, bid, bid documents. So you can't uh, put two problems because we have the design flow, and then now you bring your roadblock for extortion purposes. So the police, please remove that roadblock which is there. Uh, nobody uh, find another way or do something else. But uh, we, we are tired of your extortion. Now the Kenya police have brought uh, have brought here, uh, they have uh, reintroduced alcohol blow in Nairobi. For what? Because you just want to kill nightlife to extort money working on behalf of cartels, you know. Uh, we are, we, and we are here sympathizing with you because you are being sent on a suicide mission to Haiti. We are fighting for your rights. But you, the only thing you think about is extorting us money. Hmm? You Kenya police, you, you are stupid people. Huh? We are here fighting for you not to go uh, on that suicide mission in Haiti, which has just been approved by the United Nations Security Council. And you, instead of now working with us, instead of being partners, because we are always fighting for your rights, even when you're doing the most, you're, 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 you're there now bringing alcohol blow, you're there putting roadblocks on black spots, yeah? So please change your ways, man. Change your ways. These are difficult times for all of us, you included. One thousand of you now are being sent against your will. Eh? You think it's is a glamorous posting? You're going to a place where they speak French and Creole. Those guys even gave a problem to eh? <laughs> to, to to their colonizers, to their initial colonizers. So if they were eh? if they gave them a run for their money, who do you think you are? Haiti was the first place to get independence. Those guys, they know how to fight. So. Now that you're going there, well and good, but we are hoping that the, you are not sent there. But since you, this looks like a decision, I mean, there are 14 billion reasons why <laughs> this mission is not being turned down, is not being cancelled. So we, we are wishing you all the best. So those ones who remain here, please do what is right. Do remove those roadblocks, remove those uh, alcohol blows. Nobody uh, st stop being an impediment to doing business in Kenya. We are already getting enough uh, enough uh, drama from KRA, from who? Everyone, county government, national government. Everyone is just a shark hmm? waiting to feast on us. Yet they don't. And then now you are seeing the people with the best cars are the ones who work in government. These people are not industrialists. Eh? They are not entrepreneurs. They are not inventors. They don't even, like, you can't even have an idea with somebody in the government. Those guys are airheads. In the, here is just uh, an empty debe. And they are the ones who are in the position blocking us who have the ideas. You understand? Oh, please, this country is becoming a shithole country day by day. Hmm? Now we are talking about Kagege. Eh? These Togeges. Togeges uh, is a reference. It has some historical connotations. Uh, if you see a Kagege is a uh, now that dog dressed in UDA color. So there, there is a historical context because when Sabasaba mm, uh, Asili, uh, the, by then there was a Ford Asili came and it was a wave in Mount Kenya. And I think one politician said, if a dog dressed in Ford Asili clothes, he can still get elected because uh, Mount Kenya people were known to to vote with euphoria. You know, as long as one person says it's this one, everyone moves like a like sheep so the, the, now after alice wahome alice wahome had a spat with the uh, head of civil service uh, felix kosgei over the uh, over the sacking of the earthy water board md i think it's called uh, ngari ngari if i'm not wrong and so 
<laughs> now they, they they are going to meetings the mps because they are angry that uh, they seem to be like whatever they had agreed that this country is uh, shareholders and they were supposed to get theirs without being uh, uninterrupted but now they are seeing as if now this other side of the shareholding is uh, trying to impose themselves or they are trying to manipulate or influence uh, the appointments to go their way so it's no longer a shareholding it seems like one partner has gone rogue so the mps you listen they, we've been talking about the cost of living they've never had secret meetings about the cost of living the, the fuel costs everything about uh, a business environment kenya power kenya power extortionist these guys the auditor general herself has said that kenya power has been inflating our bills they've never gone to to discuss about that but now because one person was kicked out and that person perhaps had promised a few deals and tenders to them then they can quickly scramble and go to meet in one of their own residences and now apparently there's a three-man committee which has been set up and then now they are going to present a memorandum to william ruto to tell him that it's not going to be business as usual look they are not going anywhere these bastards don't be don't be threatened don't be carried away by their cheap words and empty rhetoric these are useless antics which are very uh, common especially uh, now what they are trying because they've already seen that president ruto is not coming back to office they've already seen that president william ruto has lost a lot of ground they've seen things are not working in his favor by the way uh, today did you see uh, whatever the bloomberg report where he said the kenya's stock market is the worst in the world <laughs> have you seen now uh, the, the newspaper the business daily of today is saying that fuel consumption is at a five time low so this imf and the uh, world bank uh, wankers uh, like professor jokon andongo like kamau thuge you know they've been imposed there by uh, the, the the paris club the, the the donor the donor companies they've been imposed there so as to make doing business in kenya difficult so as to suppress us so that we can be donor dependent we can be loan dependent and who are we borrowing from first of all is those multilateral who now impose their own conditionalities and number two we borrow from uh, local banks who are the local banks they are the foreign owned standard chartered you know standard chartered now you saw they they are saying that uh, they, they don't want now uh, smes uh, because we've been serializing them and they've been stealing from smes so if you have an sme account in standard chartered make sure you audit your bank statement because there is a reason why they did that they did that after i started serializing their corrupt ways we started going through details about how they steal from they defraud clients so anyway back to the togegas so the togegas they know this is what they do every electoral cycle they first start pretending that they are in the opposition which is what they did during the uhuru era they, they're pretending they're in the opposition uh, they are they are not, but they are still in government they they no none of them resigns uh, to submit themselves in uh to to a to a, to a fresh election they don't desire they resign but then they keep on uh escalating the anti establishment sentiment they say oh now not our people they they start throwing hints like now they've been leaking to journalists eh, at some mps who are in the meeting who did not want to be named screw you they are doing that deliberately you understand so they start doing this and then now by 2027 when it's uh, almost like uh, you know january february march now they move when they've extracted all the money they want from uh, the ruto regime now they want to go and craft another regime and that is what they've been doing rinse repeat rinse repeat i was surprised I, I, by the way i don't know these guys eh? uh, uh, jane kihara is still an mp of naivasha she's been doing this she's been eh? and you naivasha people you are lambistic you're puny how do you elect somebody like that one since i don't know 2005 and she, this is what she's been doing because i've seen her quoted that she's uh, spearheading these meetings hmm? and let me tell you something people keep saying that uh, uh, moses Kuria, they are untouchable or oh, they are still popular in mount kenya let me show you what happened in a in an event for religious degenerates and they were trying to address uh, they were trying to show whether rigiji is popular and ruto is popular <laughs> God bless you.
you see <laughs> the first uh, mp of juja is asking them do you love ruto do you love ruto <laughs> nobody they all of them are saying no and then moses kuria comes he tries to tell them what he does can you wave will you stand with me nobody's waving back they are finished in mount kenya completely kaput